everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about the Korean glass skin makeup, which you can actually see my skin is shining a lot more than it actually shines in my previous makeup videos because it is the Korean glass skin makeup look. I really, really, really hope you all will enjoy it because you know I do I don't actually know about these tubs or what the Koreans actually use in order to make their skin shine. But I actually saw a lot of TikTok videos and a lot of YouTubers going on with this trend. So I thought, well, why not making myself a little one? Well, I have my tricks for this, which I personally use. I do not know if all YouTubers are using this or not, but this is just my suggestion of the makeup that I think will make your skin look like the Korean glass skin and the glass skin makeup. So if you guys want to know how I got this glass skin look, then Please keep watching and do give my channel a subscribe and a like. And if you're new here, do not forget to watch my previous videos. Thank you. So the first step for getting a Korean glass skin is to make your skin look flawless and all shiny. For that, I'll be using my moisturizer that I use in all of my videos, which is the previous aloe vera gel. It's better to use this aloe vera gel than using any other medicine created things. And as usual, the usual thing that I'll be saying is that I'll be leaving down the products that I used in the description box below. I'll be using a ton of moisturizer today, so let's see if I can get the glass skin or not. I'm really not a fan of getting glass skin, but this makeup is trending all over my social media, and I thought let's took a try on it. Oh my god, my skin is already shining over hair and it's all also shining over hair. So I do believe this moisturizer is doing a really good job. Those of you who have seen my last video, they should all know that I promised something that I won't be using foundation in my next video. Whereas I'll be using my sunscreen, which is this one secret tone on sunscreen. It's the Korean product. But I actually cannot read this thing, it's written in Korean language, but well, it's a Korean product, so I thought of why not using the Korean product today because I'll be doing the Korean glass skin. So something from the territory will make it look better in all ways. So I'm taking a bunch of it like this, not a tiny smudge because today I'll be using this as my foundation and not my regular foundation. I think I took a lot annoyingly. This sunscreen really suits my face a lot. Like you can see, this is actually working like a foundation onto my skin. Just take a little bit more for my forehead. Now I always get dark, cir dark circles and dark spots around my forehead. I don't know why. Everyone gets dark spots onto their face, but it's my forehead that bothers me a lot. Don't forget to put makeup on your neck. There's no point of doing makeup if your face doesn't match your neck. You'll just look hilarious. I have seen a lot of people, their skin tone is something else on their neck and something else on their face. And I'm, be, I'm thinking like, oh my god, why did they do this? They should love their skin color. I actually love my skin color a lot. But for the sake of makeup videos, I need to use the foundation and concealer and everything. I'm just gonna use a little bit more on my eyes. My eyes have dark spots. I have been having problems sleeping at night lately. Probably being an insomniac. I'll get around it. Okay, so my face is all prepped. So I won't be using the foundation at all, but I will surely use my concealer, which is the LA Pro Girl Concealer. As you all must have known, those who have been watching me from the beginning of this channel, they should always know that what products I use. I always use these products. I think that they really go with my skin. And you know, I'm actually afraid of getting into new products or into new brands because not all makeup suits me. I have a very dry skin, so my skin doesn't suit all the makeup brands. I have a, like a really selected portion of brands that I use, but Unwell is one of them. It's really good. 
so I took the concealer basically today's makeup will be about having a shiny looking makeup instead of a matte finishing one that I do all the time well most of us do matte finishing makeup we don't we don't do actually shiny makeup over here that's just the Korean thingy I'm just gonna blend my concealer Team now the next thing that I'll be doing I do not know if all of you guys or those who have taken their attempt sorry I just dropped my aloe vera gel no worries let's just forget that happened so yeah as I was saying most of the people who have done this glass skin look I don't know if they did it or not but this is just my trick I'll be taking a more handful of the aloe vera gel which is my moisturizer so that my skin can be a lot more shinier than it was before like my skin is already shining but I'll be using a lot more moisturizer again so that it can shine brighter like this Just gently pat it on your face. Don't be too rough. Otherwise, well, I didn't use a foundation, so it might make my sunscreen go away. Okay. And now the next thing that I'll be doing. Now I will be using my serum, but I'm actually going into kind of a backwards today because usually I use my serum after using the moisturizer, but today I use the moisturizer as first and my foundation, which was from the sunscreen. After that, I did the concealer, then again, some bit of moisturizing. Now I'm taking my serum as usual, my favorite serum, the ordinary ascorbic acid 8% and alpha beauty 2%. percent so I'm taking... A little bit more than usual today to make my skin look shiny it's falling down I'm just gonna tap it you do not rub serum onto your face you just tap it to let your skin absorb the rest of it so my skin is all shiny but I will be definitely using a highlighter later on but I have to set this makeup on before it starts stripping away because I load a lot of moisturizer on my face. So I'm just gonna take my Ultra Beauty setting spray and set my makeup. Okay, so my setting spray is almost drying. And now I'll be using my Touch Palette blush, this one. I'll be leaving the blushes shade on into the description box below after I'm done with my makeup. So one thing that I actually noticed about not only Koreans, even Japanese and Chinese girls that they use a lot of pinky shade highlighter and a lot of pinky shade blush. So that's what I'm I'll be doing today. So I'm gonna take a nice amount of blush, like don't laugh at me. I'll blend it right now, looking like a joker, I know. And if any one of you takes a screenshot of me like this, I swear I'll hunt you guys down. I'm just gonna blend it. See, I'm blending it. I'm not keeping it like it. this is. Just trust the process. You can't trust me, trust the process. I might look like a joker right now, but once I'm done with my makeup, I won't surely look like this. Okay, now to make this a little lighter, again using my sunscreen, a tiny drop over here, tiny drop over here, and over, yeah, just like that, and it's done. Now I'm treating the sunscreen as a moisturizing cream instead of a foundation just to you know make my 
blush a little bit lighter okay. again just blend it okay did you guys notice my skin is so soft these days usually in winter my skin is all dried up and also too tall but this year i'm seeing unusual things happen to my face i think i'm i guess i'm doing my skincare routine Nice. So see, I told you guys to trust the process and see how I applied the blush, but now it looks so magical. Now again, I'll be using my aloe vera gel to make my skin more shinier. I should buy a new aloe vera gel actually. I'm finishing most of it. It's actually my sister. She's gonna kill me once she watches this video. Okay, that's enough right now. Now, Koreans have a, a little bit shiny eyes over here and over here. So for that, I'll be using my She Glam Liquid Eyeshadow. I'm taking a little smudge of it. Like this. You don't need to put it all like that. Just blend it with the help of your finger. And then I'll be using it under my eyes as well. I have seen a lot of YouTubers do this while they're doing the Korean glass skin ritual. Like this. And also over here to make the eyes a lot more shinier. I'm so sorry, my street is really busy today, hence you guys are witnessing these noises really really sorry so again use your hands to blend it so my shadow is all blended in but i have little excess over here again using my sunscreen as a moisturizing cream under my eyes it's gonna go over like this not a lot don't actually do this if you do not have excess left under your eyes i had excess left and i did this step it's actually optional according to what kind of makeup you're doing what kind of eye look you're going so I'll be keeping my makeup today very simple like the Koreans usually do. So I won't be using any kind of eyeliner but instead I'll be using my Simdu Mascara. I don't actually draw my brows I'm just using the mascara this is a little trick of my own while doing makeup my brows are perfect so I really don't thread them or draw the brows over them now I'll be using my she glam solid eyeshadow in this shade I'll be leaving the name of the shade in the description just like this tiny tiny smudges just to make the eye shiny just put the solid one in the middle of your eyes or the whole of it and I'm going under my eyes to apply this since my eyes are shining over here then repeat the same process over here Now the most important part that plays the role of making my skin look shiny is my highlighter. I'll be taking a lot of this highlighter on my hands. I really don't like using brush for giving highlighter. So see I took a lot on my nose. Obviously on my cheeks. I'll definitely blend it guys. Don't worry. I have that much common sense over here. 
over here also over here just trust the process it'll be fine okay now I'm gonna blend the highlighter like this now I don't actually know if my makeup is turning nice or what but I definitely think this is something different that I usually do this is my first take so please forgive me if I did something wrong I'm definitely getting better now guess what I'll be doing again I think you got it I'll be again using my aloe vera gel taking a tiny amount this time not a lot but a tiny like this I'm gonna spread it out on my hands and again I'm going to apply make sure you do not use this over your eyes because you applied mascara You can see my skin shining over here, over here. I didn't actually use the highlight over here, but still it's shining because of the moisturizer. Same goes for this side. I'll be using a little bit more. I think I took a lot less. I should be using that much, but again, I'm using. Now I'll be putting on some pink lipstick like the Koreans usually do. I'll be using a little bit of lipstick. Well, it's not actually pink. It's rather uh, orange kind of pink. Now the last step for my lip is that I'll be using my pink flash lip gloss to make my lips shiny like this I should really do something with my hair my hair is all messed up I wish I actually had sleek hair like the Koreans even though sleep, silk hair would be good enough for me, but I do not. Now, I'll be again using my aloe vera gel, just a tiny, this much actually, I'm not even sure if you guys can see it. my makeup is all done now the last step is that I'll be applying a little bit of a body mist to smell mystical because I did my makeup so why not it's perfect so I just recently bought this Victoria's Secret bombshell package well it's the travel size actually it comes with a fragrance lotion and a fragrance mist it's like this I won't be using the lotion because I already use a lot of aloe vera gel and I think too much of these things will make my makeup look bad. So this is the one that I'll be using, Victoria's Secret Bombshell. This one is the most, most, most famous one. This is the packaging. It's gonna go over my neck and onto my hands like this gonna touch it out and a little bit more the smell is really nice so the makeup is done and I'm shining bright so this is the final look I really hope you all enjoyed it and you can see my skin shining 
this was the whole point of today's makeup even if my makeup is not that good but i'm still shining so i'm happy with that 